Hello and welcome to Coach by Blessing. Today, we're going to be looking at how to start up the cake business. If you're a lady, if you're a man, you're passionate about baking, especially cake. We're going to show you how you can start up the business, the basic materials that are required, the items that you need, your first point of action to start up the business. So of course, I have someone who has been in the business for quite so many years and she is going to be taking on how to start up the cake business. Her name is Dazzle Emporia. So we're going to be having a short discussion with her and of course I know you're going to be learning a lot from this. Thank you. Okay, so right about here, we are at Dazzle Emporium's Home of Cake and More. And just like I said, we are going to be talking to the CEO of Dazzle Emporium to take us through her journey on this business. We are also going to be knowing from her if this is a lucrative business for intending women and other and even men to go into. So hello, madam. Hello, good Hi. afternoon. Good afternoon. I could see you're busy. Yeah, great to have you here. <laughs> yes, please. Thank you. Yeah. So please, could you tell us um, about Dazzle Emporium? My Who's name that? is Chin Yen Doi. I'm from Delta States. I'm married to Mr. Eman Doi from Apaibo. So I traveled very far to get married. <laughs> I started this business in um, 2006. I went for a short course, part-time course at a Nigerian hotel and catering school, now known as Nico Tour. So after the course, it was a part-time course because I work, I'm a civil servant. So I just took the time off because of my interest in baking. I've had interest for a very long time, but I, I needed to do it well. So I decided to go for the training. I went for a three months training six months actually three months class work and then three months it altogether six months but i didn't do the it show <laughs> <laughs> so it has been a, quite a long journey from 2006 to 2023 20 years now and it has been quite a journey wow An interesting one for them wow <laughs> wow 17 years yes. in the baking industry this yes. sounds so interesting yes. and there's something you said that really struck me you said you also have a job yes a I, I work wow i work in national national business and technical examinations board NAPTEB. Okay. you know that uh, NAPTEB is skills driven okay. we, we examine trades trade related subjects business trades technical trades and general education so NAPTEB sort of made me pick up interest in learning a skill. Wow. Because, yes, because um, you're teaching people to go and do examine, having a skill, but you don't have one. Mm. I mean, you should use yourself as an example. Yes. So that was one driving force, apart from the uh, initial interest, that was a driving force that like you're in a, an exam body where they examine people who have skills. Why not learn something and have a skill yourself? Wow. So it's very good to have a skill because at any time it will fail you. You always dust it up and use it at any time. Wow. Wow. This really, really sounds interesting. And I, I even feel motivated to probably go and learn other kind of skills apart from the ones that I've learned. Yes. So um, could you um, tell us how did you start up? Like, did you start up from your home? Or you got an office space immediately you wanted to start? No, I started from my home. Okay. Actually, <laughs> my journey is interesting. I had a salon, a hairdressing salon that I used to run. I had girls. Those girls, Chad, they dealt with me. <laughs> <laughs> As a problem with yeah, so, Yes, it's a very big problem. Okay. But So at a point, I was just fed up. I said, let me just face this baking that I've learned instead of doing this salon thing. Let me, I can do my baking at home. Nobody will disturb me. So I just started working from home. I was baking from home. People were always coming to pick up and all that. But I had a challenge. I couldn't take on students oh. because I didn't have office space. You know, it's not easy getting students to come and work in your house. Yes. So that was one thing. I knew I had this talent for teaching because I, I have great patience. Wow. I teach very well. Okay. So, but not having the space was a problem. So I needed to move the business out of the house. 
that was why eventually after so many years we got to this place wow so then we were in aduawa mm. we started from aduawa in my house so from there we moved to jerry and i got this space okay yes. so basically what what could you say that are the challenges around this business and around the industry the generally most, the very main one is staffing Staffing. I guess all businesses have that problem. Yes, because uh, these days it's like the young ones don't really want to learn and stay for a while. Everybody's in a hurry to make money. To start up their own team. Yes. Even when, they, the even when they've not learned Lanted. it well. Yeah. They want to just go out and start making money. No, not knowing that it's, it doesn't work like that. You have to pay your dues. You have to learn certain things before you can make it. But it's quite a very lucrative business if you know it well. Mm. You understand because if you know it well, people will come and keep coming back. I mean, there are some families that have been baking for, for over 12 years and they, they are still my customers. Mm. Uh, yes. So that's to tell you how long and how far. If you're good, they will always come back. Wow. Yes. Wow. So for people who want to learn, please, they should take out time to learn it well. Learn it well. Every year, even now, every year I go for training. Wow. Yes. I take out time to go for different trainings. Okay. Because so, if you want to be on top of your game, you have to keep learning. Wow. Yes, because new things, innovative things are coming up every day yeah. in all the businesses. Oh. New things are coming up. So, if you want to be on top of your game, you have to keep learning. So, every year I go for one or two trainings. It's a must. I pay and I do them. Wow. Yes. Wow. But I need to upgrade. Okay. You can't be teaching people when you don't know something. No, yes, yes, that's true. Okay, so wow, thank you so much. That's been a very wonderful session with you. And um, you. what are the basic equipments for a kid? Yeah, you okay. know, probably someone who doesn't have so much capital. What What are the basic things that you'd advise to start up? First with? of all, you must get a skill, a digital skill. You can't. You don't. There are different kinds of skills. You have manual and digital. But I always tell my students. You mean a scale? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's it's here. You must have a digital skill because baking is um, it's a science mm. and it's, it's measurement precise. Wow. If you, if you don't measure well, it's basic. Your cakes will not come out well. Mm. So you must have a scale for baking. So this is one type. This is a bit expensive. Mm. This one is cheaper. So like how much is it? This is about scale? nine five or ten thousand, depending on where you're buying from. Okay. This one should be around three thousand. That is also a digital it's, scale. Yes, a digital scale. Okay. But it's not. Uh, it doesn't last as much as this one. Okay. Uh -huh, but so you're recommending the other. That one. Can, Does it have a name? Yes. This one is Camry. Okay. This one is quite uh, okay can last for some years so apart from the scale what else you need measuring cups and spoons they come together okay you need um, a mixer oh, okay. uh, though you can start with using hand but it's not easy okay so you it's can stressful. get a, yes you can because... get a simple mixer a hand okay. mixer they okay. sell different types measuring cups and spoons they are different types in the market okay they come together they, they always come together, the spoons and the cups, they are different types. Okay. This, this is a spatula, you use to turn your, through your butter okay. when you're baking, you need it. Okay. They are different types. You need a whisk. A whisk? Yes. Okay. This is a whisk. You need, oh. you need them. They are different sizes. Okay. This one is a small one, they are bigger ones. Okay. But you can easily get a small one that you can use for so many other things. Okay. Then things for... You need other things for decoration, oh. maybe piping bags, okay. <laughs> table. Okay. <laughs> but you know, everybody might not afford some Everything things at initially. Once. Okay. But one thing is, as a businessman or woman, as you as you sell your products, you you pay it back into your business. So you use whatever you have made to buy some things. That's how I got a lot of my things when I have any job. I put away some money, I used to buy some of my equipment. So over the years, I gathered a lot from the work I've done. So you plow back into your business. Yes. It's very, very important. You don't just work and start eating. Otherwise, your business will not grow. So you have to plow back into your business. Yes. So my advice to anyone starting up, please don't be in a hurry to start spending that money. Okay. Plow it back so that your business can grow. Wow. Wow. Thank you very much. So, and we also we also have the oven. Yes, and you have an oven, oven. But some people don't. If you don't have access to oven, yeah, you can bake with pots and your gas cooker or okay. your stove. Oh, just wow. pots. Yes, there are many, many different ways. Mm -hmm. You can just get a big pot, mm -hmm. put a little salt inside, 
Salt. Get, yes. Okay. Give it to salt. Get something like your stove head or gas cooker head to take it up. Take yeah, up your baking pan lift, inside yeah. to lift it up. Then mm -hmm. just put it and cover it. You bake. I taught the children. We had wow. a children's class, and I taught Ooh. them how to bake without an oven. Wow. Because some people will come and learn, and they will say they don't have oven. I said you can bake even without an oven. Wow. Yes. So during the holidays, you had sessions with children. Children. Yes. Who wanted to learn? Back. And you yes. imparted your own knowledge. Yes. To them. We always have uh, children's class during the summer vacation. Wow. It's always a fun field three weeks. Wow. <laughs> That's interesting. Yes. And also, I could I can see that you are also in a very um, strategic location because there is an event center in this place there yes. is i think that could be an added advantage for to you now i haven't clients. seen i haven't seen the advantage oh! yes, because that is a strategic times, place yes it is mm. but most times people will come and say uh, would you like me to do my cake i already have somebody you know in this business everybody is um, a baker so to speak mm. but you know there are bakers and bakers so please if you want to make cake Go to the right source. Okay. Don't go and get what I ordered versus what I <laughs> Wow, wow. It has been a very good session with you. So, can, can you tell us some of the things that um, you do? Cakes, you yes. do small chops. So, just advertise yourself on okay. my channel. Uh, Ruta <laughs> we make chin chin. Okay. We make meat pie on order. We make small size cake. This one is 300 grams. Yummy and delicious chin oh, chin. Crunchy and milky. <laughs> wow. Okay, crunchy and milky. Only. Okay. This one is 200 grams. It's 1,200 only. Okay. This one is 2 kg. It's 10,000 naira. And then we have the 1 kg. That's half. It's 5,000. Yeah. Then we have cake, different kinds of cake. We have uh, like iced ones. Yeah. Oh, wow, it has been a very, very fantastic time with you. Thank you so much for pouring out all of these beautiful ideas to us. So any woman who wants to set up this kind of business definitely knows what to do. Thank so you. this is Dazzle Emporium, like I said before. She's the home of more, more and more. <laughs> so make, make well to patronize her for all of your occasions weddings birthdays and whatever it is thank and you. of course i know you're gonna have a fantastic experience with her thank you madam thank you so Bye. much for having me.